Welcome, Father Gallagher. Thank you, Chris. It is so good to be with you, to be able to uh, share with so many people out there this opportunity to learn how to teach discernment. It's a very, I think, important new track that many people have been desiring for a long time, and we're so grateful that you are making this available to all of us. Well, I'm so grateful that you are making this possible through uh, Discerning Hearts. Yes, I think we've reached the stage now where a lot of people know in varying degrees these 14 rules of St. Ignatius of Loyola, and that's very different from even a few years ago. And there's an increasing desire to share these with others. This is what people will generally say, I wish I'd known this 10, 20, 30, 40 years ago. And there are people who um, just really want to share this with their families or in their parish or So this seminar is geared toward people who have experienced the richness of these rules and how they really do help to overcome discouragement, what Ignatius calls desolation in the spiritual life, and then really want to share them with others. And this is a seminar which will equip the participants to do that. There's a term that many use in educational circles. It's called pedagogy. And that is not really something that uh, should be something that causes a standoffishness about learning how to teach. It's essentially just the, the methodology, isn't it? A, a particular practice and how to present a particular sure. teaching. Yes. And that's what I really want to share because what I've developed over, I don't know, 35 more years now is what I believe the most effective way of presenting these rules. And it's based on two things. We actually look at what Ignatius actually wrote, you know, sometimes uh, phrase by phrase or even word by word, and it's very densely packed and it needs to be unpacked that way. And then we look at it through concrete examples taken from the daily spiritual life. And those two things together constitute uh, what I'll call the pedagogy. It's a big word for it, but it's just an effective way to transmit this teaching so that it really has traction in people's lives. And they really see how this can make a difference in their lives. Yeah, It's exciting because really, once you understand the 14 rules, as you have demonstrated in the various books that you've authored over the years, that it can be used in so many different settings because learning how to listen in prayer is, well, it's intrinsic to the Christian life, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. And Ignatius is a master at helping us to notice what's going on in our prayer, certainly, but then also throughout the day in our spiritual lives. So that this applies to, uh, to everyone, (laughs) you know, the only presupposition is that this be a person who in some personal way, has tried or is trying to live a real relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. And that means prayer and the church and the sacraments and living the teaching of uh, of the Lord. And then everybody understands this because it's simply putting words to what always goes on in the spiritual life. But without Ignatius' help, we don't really even have a vocabulary to, uh, to name this, you know, let alone respond to it well. So the teaching itself is for any person who has any real relationship with the Lord Jesus. It's everyone who goes to Mass on Sunday. It's everyone who tries to pray. Everyone who takes his or her identity as a Catholic uh, to, with, you know, to heart in some degree. And then all of this is happening. And what we're trying to do in this seminar is to increase the number of people who feel confident that they can share this teaching with others. And all the, all the tools are there now in terms of digital uh, recordings and visual and the books and so forth. It's all there. All we need is a person who feels confident enough to bring this to other people. And that's, again, the goal of this seminar. Father Gallagher, would you say that this teaching, this is, is so intrinsic again, for the Christian life, that it, it's a door that opens uh, just that opportunity to be able to listen in prayer, but also the need to be able to discern what you're hearing. And that's why this is something that is so important. Yes, because for all of us, as we live our spiritual lives, 
we'll all recognize that there are ups and downs. You know, there are times when God feels close and there's energy for spiritual things and the mass really touches our hearts. Maybe if we're reading scripture, our prayer and all the other parts of our Christian life. But if we're honest, we'll also recognize there are times when just the opposite happens and then there's all that energy is gone. And it's hard, if I can say this uh, reverently, you know, even to want to pray and maybe we don't or less than we wish we did. So these ups and downs are just the stuff of the daily spiritual life. What Ignatius does is to move into this kind of experience, give us a way of understanding it and describing it. And then in his rules, and most of them gives us tool after tool after tool for knowing how to respond to it well. Now, precisely because almost all of the spiritual life is lived in the daily, ordinary routine of life, precisely for that reason, this teaching is almost uniquely invaluable because it will explain to us most of the spiritual experience that we go through, which sets us free to respond to it in ways that help overcome discouragement and open our hearts to hope. Boy, opening our hearts to hope. We need that, don't we? Especially today. The seminar will be May 19th through the 21st. That's coming up very soon. And it will be held at St. Stephen the Martyr Catholic Church in Omaha, Nebraska. The sessions will begin at 8 o'clock in the morning and conclude approximately 5 o'clock at night. So the people will still have their evenings available. There will be a delicious continental breakfast that will be provided as well as a great lunch, not just your average bag lunch, but something that is real conducive to helping people be able to get focused, feel like they have the energy to continue. We've thought of as much as we can to make this a, a good experience for all those who may end up traveling from distances to be able to participate. Yes, Chris and Discerning Hearts always does these things very well. Well, we're excited with the involvement of a parish like St. Stephen the Martyr Catholic yeah. Church. It is, I think, one of the largest parishes, if not the largest parish in a four-state area and located right here in the Heartland. But we also have a webinar opportunity for people to sign up yeah. because you know, Father Gallagher, there are communities uh, all around this world that want to learn this material as well. There are. And uh, in fact, the last time we did this, uh, just last year, we had people, I think, from pretty much all of the continents of the world, mm -hmm. and um, a lot of them. It was really, um, I don't know, strengthening, uplifting for all of us, those of us in person and those connected virtually, uh, to see a wonderful community of people and a lot of enthusiasm for this material. In fact, I would say that seminar, which is what we're going to be doing here, I think generated maybe more in uh, enthusiasm than anything else I've done. And this is unlike things we have done in the past, which we've had in a retreat setting and a retreat house. This is being done um, during the day at uh, a in a parish setting. We'll we'll have opportunities, of course, for mass and. Uh, a possibly reconciliation for those who feel so moved to be able to receive that. But also this is, this is about learning. And so that the, the atmosphere will be just a little different than say a retreat setting, correct? Yes, this is a seminar, which certainly will be prayerful. I mean, we, it's the only way to approach discernment, but has uh, clearly the purpose of giving tools, formation, information, all that a person needs to feel equipped to share these 14 rules with other people. So it will very much have that, um, that quality. Yeah. And it's based on, in part, on your previous books, Discernment of Spirits and Setting Captives Free, but also on teaching discernment, a pedagogy, uh, for presenting Ignatian Discernment of Spirits, which would be very helpful for folks to have, uh, if not completely read before they come, at least bring it so that they can reference some of the things that you'll bring forward. Sure. The more background we have prior to the seminar, the richer it will be. And that book does give uh, the principles and then the application to each of the 14 rules as to how to teach it. But that's what we'll be going through over the days of the seminar. What I love so much about this is that it's open to formators, uh, whether you're 
a, a priest. I, we highly encourage deacons to come uh, and their wives if they'd like to bring them along as well. Uh, religious educators, uh, catechists, all of this uh, is very accessible for those who will be dealing with helping to form people in prayer. And I don't want to leave out young adults either. This, this is also an awesome opportunity to be able to take this into college settings, high school settings as well. All of that, every one of those settings that you mentioned, Chris, just now, it's already being done in those settings. And our hope and goal with this seminar is to amplify the number of people doing it. And I can, I can promise any prospective facilitator or teacher, whatever word you want to use, this, that if you share this material with any of those groups, Chris, that you just mentioned now, you know, a family, a married couple, um, a group in the parish that meets once a week for 10 weeks or whatever it might be in a retreat house, any, any setting that you can think of, people will love it because what you'll be doing is with Ignatius teaching and his mediation, you will help them, many of us for the first time in our spiritual lives, and I include myself in that number, to understand what's always been going on. And uh, you know the old saying, we are condemned to repeat what we do not know. Well, once we do know it, we can take new steps that really help and really are life-changing, and I don't use that word lightly. Mm. This is, uh, again, very useful material that can be done in home with even friends. I know people that have sure. done uh, studies at home of your previous works, and they have been encouraged to come to the seminar because they would like to be able to help guide that, even those small groups of their friends, to know why certain rules are important. There can be a tendency, uh, possibly, if not fully understood, the reasons why that, you know, certain elements are taught a certain way. Why say, for example, rules one and two are as important as maybe the ones that are further along that some perceive are uh, very dyna dynamic. I mean, everything has a purpose and a reason and understanding that uh, really can help anyone who's trying to facilitate uh, the learning of prayer. Yes, Ignatius never uses a superfluous word. And that's why this text, which double-spaced might be two and a half pages, that's all it is, uh, really does need to be unpacked. And uh, what I often hear as I travel in various settings to do this kind of teaching is that people will say, everybody should know this. They couldn't be more right. Everyone should know this. And for that to happen, we need people to facilitate this teaching. Mm. Well, Father Gallagher, I think it's important for folks to know, too, that you are a continual learner as, um, as well as someone who can teach so beautifully. And from that experience of the retreat setting in Petoskey, Michigan, back in August of 2021, you found uh, some things that you even wanted to tweak and some different ways that yes. you wanted to approach the subject material. So I'll be reordering the material in a way that I think will make it increasingly helpful and effective. I personally cannot wait for uh, May 19th through the 21st. It's coming up soon. Uh, we have registrations that have already begun. I encourage people to get there soon and sign up as soon as possible because space is going to be limited uh, to this gathering. And there's nothing quite like learning in person. It is neat to be able to talk to others, isn't it? And to be able to network. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. Very much so. Yeah. When, if it's possible in person, there's a whole other richness to it um, because of the contacts outside of the talks and so forth discussions. Yeah. A lot, a lot of good things happen. But we also, again, have that webinar component and you have been gracious enough in those settings to take time to talk to the webinar audience as well. And I think the exchange has always been very fruitful. It, it's a great way to use the medium, isn't it? It's just a marvel, you know, to be connected with people in Australia and uh, South America and Africa throughout North America. It's such a wonderful thing that we can do that. And it's really um, something that for which we owe gratitude to Chris and discerning hearts. Well, uh, we are the ones to great, that are grateful to you, Father Gallagher, because 
I, again, this is more than just a technical learning, uh, you know, a process or a method. It is actually a very grace-filled experience of learning how to listen in prayer. It's, it, that's, I think, key, isn't it? The best way to be an effective teacher of this material is to live it. But it also works the other way around. Uh, the more you teach it, the more you'll find yourself living it. It'll be fresh. So you're not only helping others, but it's almost the best thing you could do to bring this teaching in a practical way into your own life. And I stand here as a witness. I'm so grateful that I teach this uh, so often because it just keeps it right there at my spiritual fingertips. And anyone who does teach it will find the same. Well, Father uh, Gallagher, any final thoughts in this very brief uh, insight on what the teaching discernment, a seminar to prepare teachers of Ignatian discernment will be like? Well, I, I guess I would say if you're listening to this and you find yourself wondering somewhere in your heart, you know, is it possible, Lord, that you would like me to be a vehicle of this? Uh, I've learned enough about this to know that it's helpful in my own life. Is it possible that you're asking me to be one who shares it with others? Please hear that. Um, reverence that desire. Bring it to prayer. A lot of good things may hang on, on your response to that. So I would say in, otherwise, in terms of uh, preparing um, to review the rules, maybe listen to the podcast that you and I have done, Chris, or read the books that I've done. Um, just to get the material fresh, all of that will be helpful. And otherwise, to come with an open heart and an open mind. I love that. I cannot wait to meet all those who will be traveling to um, this wonderful seminar, May 19th through the 21st. Uh, may we receive your blessing as we close, Father Gallagher. Sure. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, we lift up our hearts in praise and gratitude to you. And we ask now that you pour out your love, your light, your clarity, your freshness, and the love of your Holy Spirit into all of our hearts and make fruitful what we do. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. See you in May, Father Gallagher. Hi, this is Chris McGregor reminding you to go to discerninghearts.com to sign up for the Teaching Discernment Seminar, a seminar to prepare teachers of Ignatian discernment with Father Timothy Gallagher. The dates again are May 19th to the 21st, 2022, and it will be held at St. Stephen the Martyr Catholic Church in Omaha, Nebraska. Again, visit discerninghearts.com for more information We hope you can join us for this incredible spiritual opportunity.